Hello YouTube, Dwayne Doozers Models. I uh, just uh, spent the last couple of days um, sanding, finishing, painting, putting together a bunch of stuff that I've been doing on the 3D printer. Uh, so I thought I'd show you, bring you up to speed, let you know what I've been up to. Um, this one, lots to go over, so it could take a while. I usually do short videos, but uh, this one could run a little long. So um, printed up some 4x4 tires. Um, these ones have the chrome finish. I haven't painted the locking hub red yet, but that's 3D printed tire rim package. Um, these ones are painted just aluminum as opposed to the chrome. I do have a chrome version of the same. And then there's also a slotted option as opposed to the holes. So I've got a bunch more of the rims painted. I printed, or sorry, printed. I printed some of the um, tires, but I had a bit of a failed print. That was what I tried to show you in the last video there. So I got to print a few more tires for the extra rims. But those are the uh, smaller 4x4 tires and rim packages. Um, I showed you before the Toyo ones that are a lot bigger, so those were quite cool. Um, also did um, a bomber seat. So this is a painted aluminum frame and then sort of a ready brown leather for the padding. So printed up a pair of those and, and got them ready. Um, uh, rear end piece with independent suspension, independent internal rear brakes, quick change rear end. So that's kind of a cool piece. Don't have a home for it yet. Actually none of this stuff has a home. It's all just sort of files that I thought were pretty cool printed in spec. So uh, here you've got a, a deep dish five spoke um, painted chrome and then the smaller fronts. So those are kind of cool. Um, a lot of the packages, files that you buy, they come with brake rotors. So the rotor, or the rotor itself is painted, but the caliper part isn't painted yet. So got to mask those off and get them done. Um, I'm basically just going to go through here and show you all the stuff, uh, primarily rims and tires from here that I've been doing. Um, here's kind of a neat one here. I did these. Uh, two different profiles of tire and two different or a bunch of different colors. So we've got black ones on a low profile. So you can see the difference here. We've got the chrome on the bigger profile and the black on the low profile. We did some of them in gold. We did some of them in black, excuse me, black chrome and some in uh, like a gunmetal dog hair on everything. So those are kind of cool ones. <clears throat> These ones here, I hope they show in on cam what they are, but they're multi-piece um, elements to it. So if you look, I'll hold it up here real close. There's a gray to charcoal backside, there's a chrome ring, then there's the black sort of spoky thing, and then the chrome center in a high lug tire. So I did four of those, and then I also did them with a red center. So the picture doesn't do it justice, but they're a pretty intricate piece that, that came together. So those are kind of cool. Um, I thought they looked kind of neat anyways. I don't know. You guys may or may not like them. <laughs> so up to you. Um, some other 4x4 tires with just sort of generic -y standard rims in them. And then I've got more of these printed. I just got to paint them up, but I got a whole bunch of different rim options and bead lock options and black rim. I may put a chrome highlight on that. I don't know yet. We'll see how those go. But those are kind of neat. I think I showed, the, showed those ones once before, so I kind of breeze through it quickly. Um, another one here, as you see, I got a bunch. Try and get rid of the glare. I got a bunch printed, but not finished. But I finished a set. These are 
Porsche replica rims. So we got the black inserts, got the chrome rings and the chrome for those. So those are the shallow ones. And then got a deep dish for the back. Nice tread pattern on the wheel. So those are kind of cool for those kits that uh, you want to add a Porsche rim to. So if you got like a Volkswagen kit or something like that and you want to add a Porsche rim to it, I've got that option now. Um, these ones are kind of cool. These ones are like uh, Shelby Mustang or Cobra ones. Got the chrome knockoff, the gray backs. Um, these are the deep ones. The front ones I accidentally painted the rings chrome and it should have been that side. So got to redo the fronts. But uh, you get the gist of it there. Like I said, this one might run a little long. I got a lot to show. Um, this is a sort of a modern custom mag printed chrome on a relatively low profile tire. They're all the same. They don't have a, a variance in size on those. They're all the same. These ones are quite cool as well. They've got the back piece, the chrome insert, the lugs and hub pokes through the back side and then the tire. So multi-piece. They come out looking pretty cool. Look good on a hot rod or a resto mod or something like that. So I did up four of those but I got enough printed for two more. I gotta finish up there. I'll print up more when I get a chance and, and finish off the balance. Um, these are some kind of cool 4x4 wheels. Got a gold center, a chrome hub, chrome ring on a fairly nice sized 4x4 tire. Again, you can see they're, they're multi piece. I got to print two more rings. The rings for these last two failed, so I got to print two more rings and get them done. But you get the gist of it. Um, these ones are kind of cool. Just uh, um, no, these ones are no name, or are they? No, they're empty. I haven't highlighted yet. But Mickey Thompson, sort of cheater slicks, with uh, just an aluminum weld race, and then they've got the skinny fronts so just aluminum I could have printed them chrome but these ones here I painted aluminum so I thought they looked kind of cool really like uh, that Mickey Thompson cheater slicks so those should look kind of cool and some muscle car buildups um, these ones here didn't turn out great I'm probably gonna redo them but they're, they're like a um, just sort of a hot rod sort of tire. So the, the rings didn't print great if you look real close there. They're kind of chewed up and, and not great. But uh, kind of a cool set. I think they'd look neat on a, um, a little hot rod or a, um, some kind of <clears throat> beater like that. Um, these ones are kind of cool. Got the gold insert chrome rings and the wheels and then I did a set a deeper offset with the charcoal center and a little bit wider so I've got two options on those those turned out pretty good another rim package for the uh, Mickey Thompson cheater slicks so that's a modern sort of weld star on the Mickey Thompson you can see the raised Mickey Thompson there you can paint them white if you want or you can leave them and then the <clears throat> front runners so these will look good on a um, uh, pro mod or uh, um, pro stock street car or, or something like that um, these ones turned out pretty cool too got the weld circles and chrome on the uh, Hoosier front runners those are the thin ones and also have a deeper set on the Mickey Thompson cheater slicks. Got gold centers 
little rings, and then also a nice big pair of fatties, Hoosiers. So nice and deep, slicks. Those will look pretty cool on a street rod. Oh, look at that. Over 10 minutes on a video. I don't do that very often. <laughs> um, these ones are kind of cool too. Um, centers gold. Nice tread pattern. And I think these are Toyo raised letters on there. Again, they can be highlighted in white. So I did a set of those in gold. And I did a set of them in uh, titanium. Um, bronzy sort of color. Again, nice tread powder. So those turned out kind of cool. And one last set here to show you. These ones here are, are kind of neat. Um, they're a deep dish Chevy custom inset. So I did those in yellow. And then they've got front ones that aren't as deep, a little bit smaller. You can see sizes, just a hair smaller. Oops, sorry, I lied. There's a blue one. Had an insert in that one. Again, uh, one of the rings didn't work. So I've also got the deep. Oh, I got the dropsies all of a sudden. So you got your fronts and backs. You can paint those inserts any color you want. Cut them to match the body or to contrast or whatever. But those are going to look pretty cool on a custom build-up or some sort of rod. So anyways, um, that's what's been keeping Doozer busy at the bench. Um, it's a lot of tedious work to go in and cut the tabs off and file them and sand them and shape them and get them ready and then paint them and, and so on. Um, I've experimented with a lot of different clears, and I found this stuff here out of Spain. It's a uh, display. I don't even know how to print that. What it is, is it's a refill for chrome markers. It's out of Spain, but you don't need to spray it over black. Um, it goes over everything, and it shines like awesome chrome. So it's like the best chrome that I've found so far. Easiest to use, looks the best. Um, I bought it online. I bought two bottles of it and I've almost blown through one of them, so I'm going to have to get some more. Anyways, that's a 3D printing update from Doozer's Models. Um, hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, if you see anything you like there, um, check it off, tell your friends, whatever. Um, appreciate you watching and uh, build on. Take care, gentlemen.